Everyday VBA. This video, we're going to be looking at worksheet name. It's pretty simple. Um, it is how you name a sheet, where you get that name. We kind of looked at that earlier in the last video. Um, we looked at the code name, the active sheet, etc. So, um, what we want to do in this video is we want to show you how to name a sheet, which is uh, pretty important. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sub sheet name. And we are going to take the name. We're going to just name it from code. So we're going to go sheet sheets one dot name. And then to name it, all you have to do is just do equals. Now, standard coding coding practice is to the left is what's going to be assigned. And so this is we're going to call this. Um, name from code and I'm gonna hit F8 now it's gonna name sheet 1 in index 1 which is going to be sheet 2 because that's where it falls um, from left to right and if I hit F8 it's going to name that now you'll notice that it renamed it now the other thing that you can do the other way to do this is you go sheets and let's say we already know the name now I'm gonna just throw in this name and this is like renaming it. Now you can end up getting in trouble um, when you code it this way uh, because if you change that name in the future um, you have to be able to reference that which is typically why when you're using sheets you want to type, you want to set them to an object. We'll get into that in later in more advanced courses. Um, but if we wanted to name, if we wanted to change this name to um, we're going to type in new name um, and the only reason I'm doing this is because this will throw an error um, it's, and it's going to throw an error not necessarily because we name it but we already have a sheet named new name you'll see that it's right there it's going to give us an error um, it's a runtime that name is already different try a different one that is actually a very useful <laughs> very useful to debug error because you're like oh, okay so we're going to add a space and that will actually work now it's confusing from a um, from a sheet standpoint, but um, that is different because new name is different than new name dot space. If you've been in Excel for any number of time, you've probably had a VLOOKUP that screwed up because the space was missing um, or the space was gone. So um, that's one way to do it. You can also go sheet one. Or we don't have sheet one. We're gonna go sheet two dot name. This is another way to do it. Now using the code name. So sheet from code. And the other thing that you can do, you, you the other thing you have to do, be cognizant of. Um, notice I just changed that. Is that there's certain things that it doesn't like. So if I put in a dash, um, it's not going to like this. It's going to give me an error. Again, this is a nice error. It says, hey, you got you got a runtime error 104, but that's because your sheet name is wrong. Um, Etc. Now the other thing you can do with sheet names is you can actually pull the sheet um, and put it on. Uh, you can pull the sheet name and put it into a cell. Now a cell is just like it is. Um, obviously, it's all of these are cells, and we're going to do that in this one. So we're going to go to sheet two two dot name. Now I know that when I put that dot and that IntelliSense pulls up, I know that I've named that correctly. And we want to sheet two dot cells. We're going to put this in row ten, column four, which is going to be right here. So row ten, column four. Actually, it's going to be right there. Def, uh, we're going to skip this. Get rid of that. And this right here, if I highlight over it, it's going to tell me what that is. And this is where I'm going to put it. Except I didn't put it on this, the active sheet. Um, I put it on sheet two. So if I come over here, there it is. It's exactly where we told it to be. The way that you would change that if you really wanted to is you would call this active sheet. Um, that does happen when you're doing code. Uh, you got to make sure that you know where you're at. 
Um, so again, that did what we expected it to. Didn't do it that necessarily the first time, but that's a good example of what can happen. Um, I've done that quite a bit where you end up deleting information on the wrong sheet. Um, it's very frustrating, but it will happen. I guarantee it. Um, just know that when it does happen, just know that you are learning how to code better and you are figuring this stuff out. So when that stuff happens, it's the way it's the way that it works. You know, when you first started speaking, it took you a while to figure out the words, the verbs, context, etc. So um, you will do the same thing when it comes to coding. Let's see, let's make sure that we went over everything. So we're able to name the sheet, um, active sheet. We did all those that information. That's typically how you're going to name a sheet. Covered everything. Hope you enjoyed.